Okay, boys, let's begin. Gentlemen, can I get attention, please? Okay. So, can I get attention, please, gentlemen? What we'll try to do with the time we have, to see how far we get, is I'd like to do what's known as kind of a live discussion, where on some end you're going to be discussing with your uh, partner some issues. You're going to be working together based on your discussion to contribute certain things. Now, only certain activities are released to you, so I'm kind of controlling the access. Uh, we'll release activities uh, at a certain pace, so that way as you in Paris do one activity, when you submit your answers, we'll be able to see an overview of all your submissions, and then we can see as a class what trends or what observations we're making, and we'll have a good understanding of that issue or that concept or that source before we move on to the next activity, before we move on to the next activity. Boys? Maybe let's look at the lesson first that we're going to look at today. In today's lesson, I'm going to look at some of uh, the people that are impacted by Hitler's policies. We'll look at um, women or men or different minorities, and we'll look at the impacts that they had, whether negative or positive. Okay? Uh, what I'd like you to be able to do is look at different points of view, and I don't think we'll get to it in the time we have in class. This is something you'll have to finish off at home but to come up to, with a reasonable conclusion as to how people benefit or not in, um, under Hitler's rule, okay? So let's begin. Okay. Now, just to recap though, boys, what we're gonna be looking in this lesson, gentlemen, I know you're very excited, you have a computer in front of you, you're gonna get a chance to use it. Well, let me explain what you're gonna do. Then you can use it, okay? Great, okay. Um, when you're looking at the sources, I'd like you to think of points of view and make inferences. I'd like you in your answers to provide relevance and clarity, depth of thinking. If you're not sure, have I added enough to my uh, answer? You can always just go back to the background information and look at here in Xavier, you can look at the prompting questions. So for instance, depth, what factors uh, should I consider? What are maybe some of the complexities that I should consider in my answer? So kind of go back to these guiding questions. Elijah, what, when you're answering, okay? Okay, let's start our first activity. Now what I have here are all the activities. You can see this is what I see and I'm gonna release our first one. So now, you can start on activity A. What I'd like you to do, wait, let me explain please. For activity A, you get a source. I'd like you to analyze the source and decide if people benefit it or not. You have a thinking organizer to structure your thinking and decide if they benefited or not. Um, provide clear and relevant evidence, some evidence from the source to support your answers. I'll give us about five, ten minutes, we'll see. Can you do A please? Can you do A? And once you've done so, press submit, and magic will happen. When you submit, your answers will pop up here for us to see. Okay? So do A please, together. Discuss and do a please and thank you. You're able to log in? Getting there. about se seven minutes or so until 1.30, okay? 1.30.
So what do you think, boys? Based on that benefit or not benefit? Not benefit. Wait, must you write both columns of the Now what does the instruction say? That's a good question. You may write. Ah. That's awesome how they put the instructions there. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Um so you decide. And maybe it's all negative, maybe it's all positive, maybe it's a bit off. What do you feel? Okay, but then like, why do they keep the word? What's that? What's that? Retain that work. What is it? Yeah, let's say someone had a work for um, Luke, the worker. No. Why might they want to keep that? Yeah, like keep tabs on you. Tabs on you. Would you like someone keeping tabs on you? I mean, if it's my skills, then it's not so bad, but if it's possible to lie, then maybe. Right? So again, but like, but now we can, okay, so if it's just based on skills, not so bad, I do my job well, a personal life, maybe I want to keep that out of it, but then sometimes they can bridge the gap, because maybe you're a good worker, but you're not necessarily loyal. Oh, the attitude. Right? Oh, maybe okay, okay. that a little bit yeah, in there as well, okay. right? So, so, if they move on to another job, do they have to make an entire menu? There would be some uh, records that be transferred, so, and again, you need permission to leave your job. So it's almost like your student record is transferred to another school if you go, same thing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Middle. Yes. What's your question? We, okay, so can we say that they benefited there because now they got more hours to go? Because the, are they being paid for all those hours? Right? So one aspect is they have a steady job. Wait, so wait, previously there were limitations on working hours. There's widespread unemployment before the birth. We learned, right? Widespread unemployment. Then why would there be limitations on working hours? What do you mean limitations? As in li limitations is in... So this is one example maybe them actually improving conditions. That's a good observation. Sometimes, so basically more worker rights. We can't make you work more than 12 hours. Oh no, so they're, so they're before, yes, yeah, so that we can make you work longer. So before, there'll be a limit on how long you can work. Wait, but, but that doesn't make sense. Why do they limit people to how long they can work? Why do they want people to work? Yeah, why would they limit people to work? So if you're removing limits, people can work longer. Before people just have maybe more rights. I'm only allowed to work 10 hours a day. Well, some like quality of life and support there might be limited. Hard to get a job, maybe, for the Nazis. But if you have a job, maybe you have certain uh, limitations. Like each day you can work five days a week and 10 hours a day. You get to remove that. So you can work longer now. So that's what we mean here. Better or worse? Worse, right? Because again, you have less freedom. Well, what would be better is maybe what you said earlier, but we still have a job to begin with, or maybe we didn't have that before. Yeah, but where does it say? Oh, I thought maybe I, I don't mean to inject. Uh, I, if you didn't say that, then we decide who's going What are they doing six days a week, 10 or 12 hours a day? Sorry? Are they getting paid for those hours? Yeah. Right, so you have a job. What was the big issue before Hitler came to power? Jobs. Better or worse, boys? What do you think? Good or bad? Boys, um, try to submit your answers. Try to... With, I mean, I said by 1.30, maybe by 1.31, 1.32. Just try to type in and submit. And like magic. We'll see what you guys have to say. As of now, zero students submitted. But you have a lot of good points you raised. So get it out. What's that? Yeah, yeah sure. Let's so provide some evidence. Yeah. You agree? We don't have to get like the main message. Just what well, do you think a benefit or not? Yes. Okay. Sure. Submit. Getting me the first one to submit a good quality answer. There will be a free pink pen. The first one to submit a good quality answer. What's that? We have some Italy, but it's not so
Maybe because um, because you submitted the uh, disagree. Ah, Isaac, oh, Isaac, a uh, free pink pen, Christian Gerald. You don't have to put agree and disagree if you don't feel it has both. You can decide, okay? Okay, now they're coming. Boys, about two more minutes getting excited. I'd like to move on to some other ones. Provin, are you live? Provin, you okay? We lost Provin. He stood up for the segment. Long day. Some water. Scroll down the, with the mouse and, uh, so I can stand up here. So, right, I'll just tell you. So, either A, I'll ask you to switch to, you know, um, agree and then disagree. Oh, I can do it like this. Yeah, just like this. Just like this. We'll do it like this. Okay? So, you want to see, like, one by one. Which one do you think looks better? I think this is better, right? Like this, I can see all the reasons they agree. I think it's nicer, right? Uh, and yeah. then, oh, this three. We'll do it like that. So, agree, and then this three. And then you want to see, like, everything like uh, Yeah, I might just ask you to scroll down at one point. Just, just uh, Isaac, you scroll down, please. Isaac, can you go to this three, please? Okay? Boys, two more minutes, get in your answer for source A. Okay? Two minutes. What do you guys think? Okay, okay, okay. You Stop writing. Uh, so fingers off keyboard for now. You can finish later. Fingers off keyboard. Okay. Fingers off keyboard. Fingers off keyboard. Or mouse. Ah, thank you, boys. Okay, let's just look at what some of your classmates had to say. Why you would agree or disagree? Uh, why would people benefit? I think the issue that a lot of people brought, uh, brought up is, you know what? Obviously, maybe there's issues, but you can't take away the fact that there was employment. Uh, so just scroll uh, down a little bit. Who said that? Was, who, who said this one? Uh, Isaac said, yeah, but there's employment. Okay, good point, Isaac. Uh, keep the names there so I can see. Joel said, you know, everyone's got a job. Each German employee had a workbook which shows that uh, they were at least keeping track. Uh, maybe to look at potential, but also look at behavior, so pros and cons. Uh, who said this one? Sorry. Manual. Hey, they, they have jobs. Okay. I know we kind of were in a little bit of a, a, a rush to look at the answers. Did anyone else feel that there was benefit, but didn't have a chance to submit? Or generally just these three gentlemen? Anyone else? Yeah, you know, what, what, what were you going to say? Just what was the point? What was the point? What? the organizing of the workforce, making more efficient. Okay, Isaac, can you change to the disagree, please? And make it so again, we can see the names. Okay, why did you feel people did not benefit? And again, if anyone, boys, is gonna benefit, it's the white Aryan German male worker, right? Like this is the main person that's supposed to benefit the most from the Nazis being in power. And yet a lot of you thought, hey, the following, um, longer hours, they removed the limitations. Good point, Joseph. It seems like in some ways they maybe had more rights before, but now they, there's more restrictions, okay? 
uh, forced to work longer hours, okay? Work harder, life was tougher, so longer hours. Do we have anything else? Go down, scroll down for me, Isaac. Longer hours, longer hours, longer hours, more, more, more. Working conditions, lost freedom. So not able to choose their jobs anymore. Imagine, by the way, you were in that position, you're in a job, you don't really like it, you don't like your boss, you're not allowed to leave. For when? Well, until maybe forever. It's not your call, right? That is not something I'd like. Um, just one more, one more. Let's keep it there. Uh, again, uh, multiple days, six days a week. I'm hoping one person can pick it up. Keep on going. Overwork. I think maybe no one touched on a little bit. I, I spoke with Luke a bit about it. You know, being tracked, you have a workbook, a worker record. You know, this can be used against you. You know, a person, a, a member of the SS could come up and look, flip through your this. Hey, says here, you're not an efficient worker. Says here that you said something against the Nazi party before. So that can always be used against you. Okay? All right. This is one perspective the German worker. Why don't we look at another? I'm just going to release our second activity. Uh, can you do source B? And let's try to have it wrapped up by um, 1.45, please. Agree or disagree or both? One. Competition for who? Uh, Sorry? Jealous. Potential benefit or potential downside? Now, I'm not saying it's a moral benefit, but it's certainly an economic advantage, right? And so I don't think it's ethically right, but it, there's an economic benefit to it, sure. Team to put up a good answer will get a green, a green pen, courtesy of Gerald. <laughs> yes. No submissions yet. Yeah. 
What does this word mean? Coming in, Gabriel. Where's Gabriel? Congratulations, is Gerald Green Pen? Congratulations. <laughs> Try to get your answers in and submitted within a couple minutes, please. Don't write on the sources that have different perspectives. I'd argue that each of the sources, I've tried to find ones um, that might have different perspectives on them. Do you want to just focus on one? It's okay. Or maybe you just see one. It's okay too. You can see like they lost, like maybe they are friends. Sorry? Sure, sure. So you're looking at socials. It's not like all Germans hated Jews, right? And they'd have to live in this society where like, that was your friend. But now all of a sudden you have to accept that like, I can't support him, I can't help him. If I do, they'll come after me. Do I help him and it, you know, may potentially harm my family? Or do I know that I stand by and do nothing while something wrong is being done to my friends, right? And bad stuff being done to my friends. So yeah, you have to live with that for the rest of your life. Not like all Germans here Jews. Good point, let's go get in there. That's an excellent point. Excellent point, Emmanuel. Excellent point. And Kyle, right? Yes. Okay, good. I mean, 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 I
Sorry? That's okay. Submit what you have. What's that? Oh, it's the most you Magic, right? Good book. Okay, Isaac, can I get your help again? Okay, boys, um, let, let's talk. If you can, press submit if it's finished and you can submit now. Fine, if not, just, just wait, do it later. So again, um, fingers off keyboards, please. Fingers off your computer. Okay, so we have a picture that, who is, first of all, let's just even look at the picture for a second. Um, you just look, who is in the photo, by the way? Who is this? Who is this? German soldier? No, it's not the army. The SA, right? So not the SS, he's a member of the SA again, the thugs. You have the brown shirts, you got the Nazi emblem. He's got some sort of lady weaponry, I don't know if you see here, but what if you are a person who wants to go in this store? What might happen? Right? This threat of violence, this threat of violence. What if I'm the Jewish owner of that store? What do I not do that day? Open the business or protect my business. Okay. Right? Okay, let's look at what, what did you guys say? Let's look at the. Okay, now. Okay, now you would. Boys, boys. Uh, can, can one of us talk at this point? That'll be me. And uh, maybe I'll, I'll take, I want to look at your answers, but now maybe I'll, I'll call upon you for, for some more. Because let's, let's look at the answers your classmates have on the board. Okay? Who would benefit? Because it's kind of like you would think, how could anyone benefit from this kind of discrimination? And I'm, of course, by no means saying that ethically or mor morally this is justified. But if we take out the ethics out of it, I think some people made a good observation that if we remove from the pie the German business, uh, sorry, the Jewish businesses, obviously more of the economic pie can go to the German businesses. They would benefit from the removal of some of these German businesses, some of which were quite successful. So people are being discouraged from buying. Good point, Joel. Uh, Ethan, uh, German people benefited, more opportunities for them. So if you were maybe a teacher or a professor as a Jew, well, you're no longer doing that. So that does offer a professorship to a German. Okay? So these kind of high-skilled jobs that they might have had. Okay? So again, German companies, okay, uh, let's go down a bit. Any other benefits? Loss of competition. Yep. Okay, so maybe not, I would say a benefit, but this idea that uh, you get a sense of national unity over this, that Jews are going to be used as a scapegoat. So at least at the time, you know, people seem more unified. Okay, okay. Um, let's, let's go down a little bit, anything else? Prejudice, what's this one? Uh, what did Chung Chia say? Okay. So Hitler is Hitler's going to benefit from this. Hitler's going to use this to his advantage. He's going to blame the Jews. Okay. Again, this idea of uniting the people around this. Okay. And again, a lot of you mentioned the businesses. Great. Can you go to the well? How is this bad for the Germans? Okay. Always keep in mind, by the way, these are citizens. These are German citizens. Some of it, which have been German citizens for hundreds of years. I mean, they're not hundreds of years, but their family has been around for hundreds of years. And yet now all of a sudden they're not. Actually, initially they still were, but they're being persecuted. Later, new laws will be instituted where you're not no longer a German citizen. Oh, by the way, you can't leave the country either. Also illegal. You're stuck. You're stateless. By the way, we'd like you to report to this area, please. Not reporting is also illegal. So you can see the news kind of tightens and gets worse and worse. Dump. Okay? So again, uh, the prejudicial uh, views against the Jews, so you guide in still this brainwashing, this hatred. Okay? 
Jews are being discriminated, so we have about the Jews. Yes, uh, let's go. Let's go down. Anything about the Germans? How the Germans didn't benefit from this? As a German, maybe you wouldn't have choice. Maybe you like some of this that was being eliminated from you. Choice, okay? Okay, let's go. Let's go down a bit more. Let's see. I like this. This is Harshan's answer. I think it's quite a high level answer. Always remind, remember, not all Germans wanted to persecute the Jews. Not all Germans didn't have Jewish friends. And yet in this society, where there's obviously being violence used, if I'm a, a German and I have a friend who's a Jew, and they're attacking my Jewish friends here, if I step in, what am I doing? Am I, if I tell the SA or the SA, stop, he's all right, he's a good guy. What, what, what am I doing to myself? I'm exposing myself to violence and maybe my family to violence. So even though he's my friend, I'm going to keep quiet and then see what happens. And it's, again, it gets worse and worse and worse. And you got to live with that. That again, you did nothing. You did nothing. I really like one of the... Where is it here? Sorry. Um, let me just... Ah, oh, it's page 100. It's by a German, a German pastor. Okay. Uh, page 100. <clears throat> First, they came for the communists, but I did not speak out because I wasn't a communist. Then they came for the socialists, but I did not speak out because I wasn't a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak out for me. Right? So this, you know, split in society that some people have to live with, which also made it easier to persecute them. Maybe as a German who just doesn't like the Nazi party. Uh, good, good point. Um, okay. Other minorities, I think this is a good uh, point as well. Uh, you, you want to talk? That they would be, more, be easily targeted. I think that's a, that's a strong point. So you're looking at the bigger picture. You say a picture says a thousand words. Okay, maybe just five minutes, final one thing, because I just want a quick discussion on the last one, because this is an interesting source. One last one, just five minutes. Um, we'll just release source C. Okay, just, just five minutes, just a quick, one thing you agree or disagree, just one thing, one thing. Thank you. I'll think, one second, I need to ask Gerald. Okay, source C. Okay. Kyle, please don't take it back. It's somebody else. Okay, maybe just one thing. You look at it, one thing you agree or disagree. Nazis wanted women to be more 
uh, either in the home or if it's an education, it was an education that benefits the country or the home in a way that a woman should, according to the Nazis. So maybe a nurse, secretary, a mother, something like that. Specifically, make sure you're a mother. Okay, more German children. But it doesn't mean it teach every woman to become holy there would be some like kind of like in the way there'd be like a Hitler youth or young men. There'd be the equivalent of like uh, Hitler youth for females, so they learn things like first aid, and cooking, uh, you know, how to be a good mother. Let me think how long anything else is about it. would be looked down upon initially. You shouldn't, what do you mean? You want to be uh, a yeah, you know, manager, like, you should be creating more German soldiers. You know, you should be a good mom, you should be celebrated. Now, some like this. Some like this, not racist, some did not. Uh, so I can see that like, those who like, don't want to be a mother, then they cannot do anything else. Or, or their options were limited, right again. Hey Jeremy, congratulations! What yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Hey, anytime. Sorry? Oh, first quality one. Okay, very good. Let's have a look. Okay, boys. Um, we just have five minutes, and I don't mean to cut into your next teacher's class. And always take us at least five minutes to get our class back to where it was. Can we just stop typing for now, boys, wherever you are? Okay, or if you want to just submit now, 30 seconds. Let's submit. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, boys, um, just stop. Wherever you are, it's okay. If you didn't submit, this one's fine. Uh, just to... Shh. Boys, I, I, I have four minutes. Can I engage? Can you please? Stop typing. Stop. It's okay. Stop. 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 Okay. Uh, I just want two seconds. We don't have time to have a proper discussion. Too bad, because it's an interesting source. Uh, but I want to show you what I'd like you to do at home. There's just a, a couple of follow activities where you do something individually, okay? So just quickly, let's look at what you guys said. Um, they had the training, they're taught what they're supposed to uh, know to run a household. Again, and some like that. Some women like that, they appreciated it. They had an identity, who's this? Uh, good answer, Yun Song. An identity. Identity, training. Some of them wanted to be a housewife. A sense of purpose, a sense of meaning. Luke, yeah, good point. Okay, taught him how to run a family, good point. Uh, disagree. Forced to do what they didn't want to do. Okay. Shh, what? Uh, let's see Dexter's point. He's very cute. Where was yours? Okay. Yeah, they're, they're forced to do what they didn't really want to do. And again, you didn't have a choice. You, you were a professor. Again, use an example. You're a professor. No, you're not. You should, it's not ideal for what a woman should be, according to the Nazis and the Japanese. The Japanese also during the war had this kind of viewpoint. Okay? Uh, lack of freedom, lack of choice. Okay? All right. What I would like you to do, I'll just show you what the summary activity is. Can you maybe just have a look at it? Um, so two things I'd like you to do, boys. One, this one you do individually at home. Consider the sources. We looked at three sources. Does that necessarily speak? What do you think about the sources presented? As to whether German people benefited. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one, focus on the three we looked at. The three we looked at. What can you learn from those three about the people benefit or not? Just in those three. Okay? Question two. 
we looked at three, but does that necessarily speak for Germany? So let's focus in on that last one. You looked at one woman's viewpoint, does that necessarily speak for other women? Why or why not? Why or why not? Okay. So try to consider other women aside from her, which some of you did in your answers already, to be fair. And in your opinion, do you think that the women, um, sorry, do you think that the German people benefit? Just overall. No, no necessary structures. What do you think? Okay. Okay. If you'd like, you don't have to do this one. This is an extension. If you'd like, there is uh, just um, some sources you can analyze on your own. If you'd like, you don't have to. What I would like you though to do is after you've done the individual activities, because they're, they're a bit higher order thinking, so I'll help you do the conclusion. After you've done the uh, individual activities at home, can you just please uh, tell me if you like this kind of uh, uh, lesson or not? Should you do more of this or not? If you liked it, great, why? If you didn't like it, that's fine. But just tell me why. Okay. Um, could I please, pretty please, I need uh, your info by Monday, if you liked it or not. So can you finish this lesson at home by Monday? You, don't, you do not have to do the sources again on your own. If you work with a partner, let's say Luke and Sahas as an example. Who logged in? Okay, Sahas, you don't have to do the source analysis again. You can just skip it. I don't know if it lets you skip it. If it doesn't, just write skip and submit. Just do the individual ones. Or you can write, I did it with Luke and submit. Uh, I just want to look at your individual responses. Okay? 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 Yes? Okay, can I ask that you um, turn, log off your computer and gently, neatly put it back in? Don't steal it, I need them back. Okay, don't steal it. Kyle? No. Okay. Log off. Um, okay. Okay, come on, boys, let's go.